Hi guys, welcome to week 10 of our English class. Can you believe it's been 10 weeks already? Um, we only have a couple weeks left, so it's really important that you stick with me and finish strong. I know it's really tempting to kind of slack off or slow down the last few weeks, but we have some really important assignments and I wanna make sure that you're sticking to it. So let's talk about our week together. Um, just like every week, we have two discussions, the first due by Wednesday, the second due by Friday. So let's talk about these first. So our first discussion is on your experience in the library. Easy. I just want to hear what you did, um, where you went, um, what you liked, what you didn't like, that kind of stuff. So go ahead and, and post that. I posted about my experience last week as well. Um, let's go back to our other discussion on plagiarism. And this is on stealing somebody else's ideas and how it, it really hurts somebody if you take their words or their ideas and pass them out as your own. So one second, um, I posted an example there for you. So make sure you read that and post yours as well by Friday. And remember, you're also graded on participation. So in both discussions, you wanna continue the discussion through Sunday. Now by Sunday, your writing assignment is due, and this one's kind of tricky, so please ask questions early. I noticed um, some of you have a tendency to email me on Saturday evening, and I take Sundays off, so I don't get your questions until Monday morning. So make sure you look at this now, and let me know ahead of time if you're running into problems. So what you're doing is you're looking at how to use a source. A source is just an online um, research that you've done. It doesn't have to be online. It can be a magazine article. It can be an interview that you did. But you're looking at a source and how you incorporate that into your own papers. You can summarize it. You can paraphrase it. Or you can quote it. Now, a summary is taking the entire thing and making it shorter. A paraphrase is taking one section and rewording it in your own words. And a quote is just three or more words in the exact same order as the original. Now, one thing you have to realize with all three of those things is you have to cite your source. So even if you reword it in your own words, you still have to give that source credit. So you're going to follow APA guidelines, which we've talked about all some session, but I have an example here for you. Let me move it onto my screen. Um, I am going to post this in our news feed because I can't, for some reason, I can't send it as an attachment in the email, but um, I want you to, to look at it. Again, I will have it in our news feed for you. What I did here is I took an original source, I copied it directly from a website, and here it is word for word, a direct quote, if you will, but it's, it's a long one. So you can see I put quotation marks around it and I added this, which is the, um, the proper citation in APA format. Now, you can see that I summarized that paragraph. So notice it is smaller. I probably could have made it even shorter, but I wanted to show you that this here in red is a citation, and this here in red is a citation. So I took this entire paragraph and made it two sentences, right? So um, again, it's much shorter. Now I paraphrased it, and notice it's about the same length as the original. So I've taken it and put it all in my own words. In red, once again, I have a reference in APA format, and I have one at the end. So um, anytime you have more than one sentence, you want to sandwich it in with citations. That way the reader knows when the source information started and when it stopped. Otherwise, we have no idea, right? So again, more than one sentence, have one at the beginning, have one at the end. And a direct quote. They're going to be in quotation marks, so we know where it starts and stops, and you have that formal reference after the quote. And notice I put the quote right into my own sentence as well. At the very bottom, I've created a works cited reference that has the complete um, works cited format there. If you're having trouble with any of this and how to do it, please let me know. Um, I will give you some resources throughout the week. One thing I do recommend is if you go onto the OWL, O-W-L at Purdue, um, they have a website that helps you with that, but Word here also will help you. You can go up to References, make sure you click on APA Format. If you click on Manage Sources, slowly but surely, I have a lot here because I'm always doing research, but I can start a new source by clicking on New, 
and decide what type it is. Is it a document from a website? Probably. Fill this out, press OK, and then you're able to go up here to bibliography and add a works cited just by clicking there. But I'm not going to do that since I already did down here. So um, that's a, a useful too, tool. There are also online sources, I think, called um, Son of a Citation Machine. I haven't used it myself, but I know there are a lot of websites like that that will put your sources in order for you. So the important thing is that I see you're able to summarize, paraphrase, and quote with those in-text references all in red there. You don't have to put it in red, but I did it for you. And then the work cited to show me that you know how to use APA format. All right, I know that's a lot. Um, let me know if you need help. Good luck, and I'm eager to see what you come up with. Thanks, guys.